Things we now take for granted. Checked baggage, flight updates. Once upon a time, they were state of the art. For flight information, this unique board, the only one of its kind in the world. Love Field was feeling mighty fancy when the new Braniff Airways terminal opened in 1968 with the amazing innovation of a board updating flight times. And the way they handled your bags, well, reporter Phil Reynolds got an inside look. If you think the passenger service is nice, the new Braniff Terminal here at Dallas Love Field, you should see how they treat the baggage. Just don't trip on that microphone cord. But fancy as it was, in 1973, the airlines at Love Field started moving out. While the planes continue to fly, the moving trucks continue to roll, rushing to move over three and a half million tons of equipment to the airline's new home 20 miles away. Yes, DFW was the world's largest airport at the time it opened. The question was, would it open on time? You got an hour and 28 minutes. Are you going to make it? Yes, sir. An American Airlines flight from New York landing at midnight was the first ever arrival, and workers used every last second to get it ready. And you're going to get all this laid before that plane gets in here? Yep. What happens if you don't? Then he's going to blame the reporter who wouldn't stop bothering him. But when the airlines at Love Field left for DFW, it left a lot of open space. Space they turned into the best layover in America. The family-oriented recreation center features this 13,000 square foot ice rink. Film from the SMU Jones Film Archive shows Love Field providing some real entertainment. A dining area, cabaret, cocktail lounge, and this 10,000 square foot combination dance floor and roller skating rink. The entertainment center was an idea in 1975 to keep making money in the now vacant terminal. And if at least 500,000 don't come in the first year, well, there'll be a great sale on carpeting here. Hopefully he picks them up because after just three years, the lavish entertainment ended at Love Field, but they still got sweatshirts. I'm Chris Sadegui.